there was a lot of money riding on the highly anticipated comeback match for ex-heavyweight champion Sonny Liston. Sonny Liston was considered the Mike Tyson of the 1960s. Sonny Liston is my idol as a fighter. That long. He had to beat all the best contenders to get the people to take him seriously, to accept him. Only two minutes and 22 seconds have elapsed. Bailey. He did it on effort alone. December of 69, takes a fight with Leotis Martin here in Las Vegas, about that everybody thinks he's going to win. But no one could have predicted that it would be the beginning of the end of Liston's complicated and tumultuous life story. On January 5th, 1971, Sonny's wife Geraldine and son Daniel return home to Las Vegas from Christmas vacation with her family. She actually planned to stay longer, but she became concerned after Sonny stopped answering her phone calls. As soon as Geraldine stepped inside the home, she smelled a rotting smell and thought maybe she had left something in the kitchen. But when she stepped into the bedroom, she discovered Sonny's decomposing body. It was obvious he was dead. She called the sheriff's department, and the sheriff's department called homicide. When I got to the scene, Geraldine Liston had already left the scene, because I guess she was quite traumatized. 38-year-old Sonny had always been a mountain of a man with enough power to shatter his opponents. So what could have happened? 